Okay, welcome to this week's episode. I'm Polly Ames. I'm John Williams. And we are ABCI and ABCI's mission is... To help all you folks in the aviation world sell more of your products and services. Absolutely. So, a lot of dads told dad jokes, right? Great. My dad told the Lombardi stories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was a football guy, you know, he played football in high school and college and everything else. And Vince Lombardi was his hero, you know, mm-hmm. at the time and stuff. He was a good guy. He was. He was pretty amazing. Um, so one of the Vince Lombardi stories that my dad used to tell me was that, you know, he was a coach of the best players on the planet, right? People who had played football since they were little kids and they came up through high school and college and everything else. And by the time they got to the Green Bay Packers, they really knew what they were doing, right? These were not beginning football players. I would hope. Okay. But every year at the start of every season, even if he was coming off of a Super Bowl season and half the team was people that he had before, you know, that had just won the Super Bowl. Every start of every season, yeah. the first of every practice, he would hold up in football. Say, this is a foot. Gentlemen, this is a football. And he would go through the absolute basics with these guys mm-hmm. who had just won the Super Bowl, right? Yeah. <laughs> but this is how you put your socks on. Because if you put your socks on wrong, you're going to get blisters. If you get blisters, you miss practices. If you miss practices, you don't practice as much as the other guys, you lose your advantage, you lose games, you're not going to win the Super Bowl, right? So I'm also a huge fan of Ben Franklin, right? <laughs> of course. And in um, the Poor Richard's Almanac, Ben Franklin had a poem in the letter poems in there and things like that. This one was, for want of a nail, the shoe was lost. For want of a shoe, the horse was lost. For want of a horse, the battle was lost. For loss of a battle the kingdom was lost and it's the same thing right Mm -hmm. so you start with the basics even with people who are at the top of the game yes okay so with our clients who are people at the top of their game you know make no mistake about it we tell them how to put their socks on, right? <laughs> we check <laughs> them I, literally. And we check their horseshoe nails. And we do what we call um a ground school checklist. Um this is a checklist that came from this book, actually. Um, this is the ultimate marketing engine by John Jansch. Um John Jansch also wrote the uh referral engine and he wrote um, not <laughs> you old. He wrote the referral engine. He wrote duct tape marketing. He wrote a lot of other books, which is great, you know. So, um, he's one of our favorite authors. But what we did is we took some of the checklists out of this book and we made this checklist, which we've actually expanded quite a bit. It's about mm-hmm. twice as long as the one in the book because it also includes a lot of things that are specific to aviation, like, you know, make sure your airport codes are right, you know, all of those things of things. Um, and we start with ground school and we start with a checklist that has such simple basics on it. And the reason we do that is because a lot of people spend a ton of money, uh, on marketing, but they're missing one little horseshoe or they put their socks on wrong and the whole thing is wasted. Right. Right. So, um, yeah, I mean, some of the things on this checklist, you know, does your branding match your domain? Are you using an email address that matches the URL on your website? You know, that's huge. Actually, people don't realize it. Exactly. Um, you know, all of these things that people think are just so basic. Of course, they've got it right, but then when they look at it, they go, "Oh, wow, we actually changed our domain name just slightly, you know, to make our email shorter." Or, you know, some reason that seemed good to them at the time, but uh, or they use Gmail address. Yeah. Something got out of sync, you know. Um, Is my Google My Business listing climbed, you know? That is huge. If 72% of the traffic on the internet comes from Google, which is still true. I mean, it may change given AI and other things and so forth, but or now, Mm -hmm. 72%, you know, do you want to be in Google's good graces? And if so, you need to play their silly game and you need to follow their checklist and get on their. Verify your business listing, you know, 
Um, do you have meta titles and descriptions on all your pages? Do you have alt tags on all your images? Uh, you know, just silly, silly, small no. little things. Yeah. But, uh, you know, do you have an, a process to onboard new customers? Um, do you have a process to collect reviews? You know, all of these are just absolute basics. But they are such small things. Can, uh, I know you remember Dan Kennedy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, we went to a few of his workshops and things like that. And one of the things that he used to say was, big doors turn on tiny hinges. Um, you know, if your hinge is broken, doors aren't going to open. True. So a lot of these are just tiny hinges. And that's why, you know, a lot of our clients just start from the absolute beginning. Even if they've been with us forever, and even if uh, maybe they've been really, really successful in their marketing, there could be one tiny thing, one little horseshoe or one little wrinkle in their sock that's holding them back. Even uh, if everything's working correctly, you have leads coming in, nobody's calling them. Mm -hmm. That's another one that we've seen where, um, you know, they thought that they had a sales staff that was doing really well. And, uh, you know, they actually asked to look at the phone logs. Um, you know, we actually asked to look at the phone logs because we thought, you know, well, this many leads coming in, there should be more sales. You know, the percentages should be higher. Statistically speaking, you know, given the experience we've had with all of our other clients, why are they not making sales? And so we asked to look at the phone logs. They hadn't been keeping phone logs. Lo and behold, they hadn't been making the calls. And lo and behold, as soon as they started making the calls, they started making sales, you know, as many as they could handle. Mm -hmm. So, you know, sometimes it's just something really, really simple that uh, is holding them down. Exactly. And the only way to find out is checklists, right? <laughs> <laughs> and being in the aviation industry, guess what? Yeah, you know, I mean, it's such a part of the culture and for really good reason that, uh, you know, even really great pilots don't bypass the checklist. So they may have some of it memorized, you know, some of those. Uh, well, of course, the bull face procedures at least, mm -hmm. but still even beyond that. Yeah. So, you know, we love checklists for lots of reasons, but, you know, I think part of that is just because, you know, if you miss something, you can really cause a um, huge waste of time and money at best and lose your business at worst, you know, simply because you overlooked one tiny thing. Yep. True. Cool. Anything you'd like to add? And thank you, Kobe. <laughs> okay. Cool. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next week. Yeah.